That's really I'm telling you, Francesca and Samira were ganging up on me. Oh, poor baby. You know what? You lot always go on about this boys' club, but there is a girls' club too, believe me. Mm, maybe. Read the room. Yeah, yeah, I know. You lot are all paid up members. Well, now that you've found out about this club, we're going to have to kill you so you don't blab to the other men. All right, shutting up now. <laughs> if only. Hey, did you guys get the uh, save the date thing for Tom and Tessa's wedding? I'm sure it's on its way. Or he wants to ask you in person. Hold it. Babe, whatever, I'm over Tom and his stupid games. Right, well, maybe we should go and relieve the babysitter. OK. Um, thank you so much for having us. Yeah, it was a lovely night, guys. Thank, thank you. you for coming. <laughs> Tom is not going to leave you out of his wedding. No, that's exactly what he is going to do, just to make a point. You're having a spat. You've had them before. You'll make up and carry on. I know Tom better than anyone. Only thing he loves is a grudge. Who's that? It's Tom. He wants to have coffee tomorrow. Oh. Well, it looks like you still have some things to learn about your bestie, eh? The seat taken? Oh, actually, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for Tom. Oh, OK. Well, if you want another friend option, I'm right here. Or oh, over there. Anyway. <laughs> OK. <laughs> hey. Look, I'm... Thanks uh, for Mr. Jane. I hate it when we fight. So, uh, do you have any advice for a groom to be on how he should plan his stag do? When's the big day? February 14th. Isn't that valid? Yeah. Shut up. It's Tessa's idea. No kidding. Back to the stag do. Uh, uh, well, my limited knowledge of bachelor parties is that they are organised by the best man, not the groom. Wow, I didn't know you were so stuck on the binary mullet. You're right. It is the qualities of the person that are most important. Hmm. And what qualities would those be? Someone who knows the groom better than anyone else. Mm -hmm. Definitely someone who knows all the groom's secrets, especially the embarrassing teenage ones. Where would I find someone that ticks all those boxes? Beats me. Good luck. You make me say it, aren't you? Say what? Maeve Mullins, would you do me the honour of being my best person? Really? Like, you wouldn't kill me if I picked someone else. All right, then. Just to save myself a murder charge. Great. So now that we're mates again, I should probably pay you back that cash you spotted me for the car. Yeah, you better. Pay back next week. You've got someone else you need to pay first. Yeah, wedding stuff. It's costing me a fortune. You're paying for the wedding? No, yeah, well, who else would be? Chris, it's like the bank of Warner can't afford it. I don't need... Chris to pay for it. Mm. Is Tess paying for it out of her inheritance? <laughs> Sorry. You really think I'm after all I can get from everyone? Hey, those are your words, not mine. Don't chicken out now. You've been bad-mouthing me all month. I thought you were here to make peace. I'm running here because Tess practically begged me. For Tess? <gasps> right. Not for us. I'm sorry, who was it that told her not to tell me about the inheritance? That, that wasn't you? You've been down on us from the start. And you're making digs about money. You fell on your feet, Tom. You always do. You fell on my feet? Yeah. Hooking up with Tess, who just happens to be the mother of Chris's precious granddaughter. I love Tess. What about that do you not believe? I have seen you break a lot of hearts, Tom. And yours was never one of them. You know what? Enough. I'm done. Yeah, me too. I, they hate arguing, let's change the subject. Oh, Maeve, I'm done with trying. I'm done with your poison. I'm done with you. Have a nice life. And he packs a sad, tells me he's done with me, and walks off. For no reason. I hardly said a thing. Oh, I just can't handle anyone not worshipping at the altar of Tom. So you did say something to him? Oh, I mentioned I was surprised that he hadn't asked Chris to help pay for the wedding. Mm -hmm. 
What? You only just made up. Did you have to pick that particular scab? Okay, yuck. And whose side are you on? Yours. You know that. We've grown up. Best friends. You know, Tom can't handle me speaking the truth and stuff him. So what are you going to do? Me? I did nothing wrong. Are you sure about that? No. I hate to butt in, but I was at the CAF at the same time as Tom and Maeve, and I couldn't help it over here. Mm, just like now. And Tom really was quite unreasonable. Thank you, Vincent. I was worried he might get aggressive. Uh, no, I don't know about that. Well, I'm just saying what I saw. It wasn't pretty. Well, that's, that's too bad. I'm sorry you guys couldn't work things out. Yeah, me too. I have a meeting to go to. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, of course. I'll keep an eye out. Thanks for the backup. Hey, you deserve better than Tom, believe me. Well, thanks, I appreciate it. 